Can we make a breakaway? Yes. Someone shoots and he scores from miles out. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Orton and Samurai Hacks and welcome back to another episode of Zero Tero, the FM22 Journeyman save with FC Rosengard and our Latvian manager, Gedadis Belodis. Now, if you have missed the last episode, I recommend you go watch it. It was a good video, we got the job interview screen. We were looking all across the world really. Uh, I wanted to go to either Slovakia or the UAE. Ended up going to the fourth tier of Sweden with FC Rosengard. And to be fair, I'm happy with this. Now, we wanted to play our first game against Eslovs in the last episode, but we didn't have enough time. So, today we've got a double header of Eslovs and Berger. Uh, Eslovs are currently 11th, and Berger are currently 4th. So I'm assuming we'll struggle against Berger, but might win against Eslovs. In terms of the tactic we're using, we're using this one. It's called February Birthdays. It's a 442 diamond, and we've also got this one, which is called January Sun, which has left winger and two strikers. Um, we don't know how it'll do. Hopefully, it'll do well, and we'll see how we go into the first game against Eslovs. Now, this is the team we are going in for. We are playing the February. Birthdays tactic. If you don't know why it's called birthdays, it's because my birthday is on February 28th. I was like six, seven hours away from being born on a leap, yeah, <laughs> a leap day. So, yeah, uh, I could only be, what, about eight years old or something when I should be 26, but I'm 26 this day, so that's good. Anyway, enough drilling on. The team we're going in for today is Nestorev, Friedolf. Harleton, Jung, Rindon, Ekendal, Kasselhera, Tahiri, Kasik Suleiman, Sakharovsky, and Ismail Hussain. Hopefully they'll do good. The benches, all them. Got some players. I don't know whether to take the goalkeeper off. I'll keep him off for now. But yeah, we're going to this first game against Eslovs. Alright, we should really be winning this game. Oh, I'm getting nothing from the players, so I'll just say, ah, yeah, faith for everyone. Finally, we got some reaction from 4 of R11. Hopefully, we can do good. Just decided to encourage the boys, see how we can do. I've just got the first highlight. We pick it up with 3 Dolph. Gives it to Harleton, to Ekendal. Holton, Castle Harrier, or Castle Harrier. As we've got an uh, opening with Tahiri, he shoots and he scores. And the first goal of our career, first goal with our, as a manager of FC Rosengard, is by Tahiri. And what a goal it was. As you see, we just played a bit of counter attack. We got a lot of space. Tahiri was open. He took a bit too quickly, I find, but it doesn't matter because he scored from it. So, to hear he's the first goal of our career, gets the first goal of our career, and it's 1 0 Rosengard. We've got another highlight immediately after almost. Friedolf. What can he do? Gives it to Sakharovsky. Ekenda. Kaskul Hera. Suleiman. Tahiri. Kaskal Hera, back to Tahiri, play some lovely stuff, can we make a breakaway, yes, someone shoots and he scores from miles out, that's us 2-0 up, and what a way to start our career with Rosengard, we're just playing some lovely football again, just passing it short, kind of taking them all out, we've got a bit of opening from Sullivan and he just took the shot, and yeah, another good goal from quite far out. 2-0 Rosengard. That is half time 2-0. I will say that and maybe just take off Sakharovsky because he's a bit tired. I will bring on Amid Al Shafi. Who is a young player, 20 years old, he's got a load of potential. Not very good on the uh, current ability, but we'll see how we can do. 
as we're getting into the 63rd minute with nothing happening this half I will make a sub though Ekendal I believe can come off for Borjomovic who is another quite good youngster he's coming out from the uh, reserve or the under 19s or under 20s or whatever it was he was in there at the start I've decided to move him to the first team because he can have a bit of a place here it's got some second minute we've got another highlight as we've got an opening, Hussein, Solomon shoots straight at the goalkeeper Olsen and he saves it. Quite an easy save, quite a bad shot really. As we've got the corner, the corner comes to nothing. As we will make our third and final change of the game. We'll take off to Hiri, he's had a good game. Then we'll put Jung on in midfield and put on Nilsson into the centre back who is quite decent he's not the best but he's okay enough two and a half star three star potential as we're getting very close to the end of the game 90th minute three minutes added on and we've won this game 2-0 start of our career is a win and I'll say I'm pleased with that performance I don't think I did that right um, I'll say I'll say that. I don't know why they're all demotivated. <laughs> I really do. Is that because? Is that because I I can't speak Swedish in the game, <laughs> and so I said a completely something that I meant to say, and I said it completely wrong. It's demotivated everybody. I don't know, but it does take us to eleven, which is already out of the relegation zone, which is pretty much amazing. Now something that's happened in the background is we have gone in for two players on loan. We're paying 0% of the wages. The first is a midfielder called David Sachs. Who I think can be a very good player. For us, just a bit more in depth. Uh, he can play midfielder in AMC. He can also possibly be trained to right, right winger. But we are keeping him as the midfielder. And we've also gone in for Matthias Osgon who can play all on the left wing and possibly on the right wing if need be but they're just in depth people for the depth of the team because we've got we've got a very short squad we've got no loanee so I think we can easily go for a loanee so hopefully we can do good David Sachs is coming into the team we'll accept that see how good he is hopefully he can be quite a good player for us he is decent Fringe option, but leading Division 1 player in the future. Fortunately, we have had to accept a regular starter for him. But hopefully, he can be a decent player for us. He could probably play for one of these two if none of them play have a good game. Which I'm hoping won't happen because I prefer playing my own players over loanies. But we'll just have to see how it goes. Now, Matthias Osgood has come into the side as a squad player. How good can he be? Let us see. Let us see. So Matthias Osgun is the three star player. As I said, he's only a squad player. Uh, but he'll be good. Comes in on loan from Skilljabo, which are in the same tier as us, but in a different division. They're in, I'm pretty sure, Svealand. Is that south of. Is that south of Sweden? I know it's it's near capital isn't it? If I'm thinking of Crusader Kings three properly. Dead in the middle of Sweden. Or Gotland is I think Gotland. <laughs> so yeah. Quite far away for him to come for a semi professional player, but hopefully he can do good. I've, I've probably also got in for Stefan Arnshed, who is right back, centre back, right, right defensive midfielder. He's in with Lunds currently. He's played four games, not done very well. Don't know how good he'll be, but Dirt Football's gone in for him. Hopefully, he'll be good and join us as well. And Lunds have accepted the loan offer from us for Stefan Arnshed. See if he joins us or not. Right, now we've got the game against Berger, who currently fought in the league. Now, we're keeping the same starting lineup. 
The only difference is Osgood and Sachs coming to the side on bench for I'm pretty sure it was the goalkeeper and Simon Ingerden because if you look he's played three games and had a rating of under six. So yeah, he's not very good. We'll give them the numbers, see what they get. 15 and 18, that's fine by me. Let's get into the game. So I will see if you carry on to this performance will do well and I'll say I faith every single body. If it lets me. Some inspired players, which is good. As we get underway, against F I've K Burger. Like I said, they're currently fourth. Having quite a good season. We of course are not having a good season, but if we win this. It'll be a very good statement of our intent. Have we really got a highlight with Sullivan? Goes all the way back to Rindon. Friedov crosses it in. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper Johansson of Berger. Then kicks it long. Which we have to defend on which we do quite well really. Same shoes. It looked like a save but I think it hit the post. Goes out for a goal kick. Another highlight here. Goalkeeper kicks it along. Now Schulstrom gives it to Christiansen. Back to Schulstrom. We've got to save this. Which we don't. Goalkeeper could come out and try to make himself big. But Eden and Schulstrom does score for Berger to put them 1 0 up. And to be fair, it's to be expected they're fourth. We're only 11th. We're in the relegation zone. So they're vying for promotion. It's to be expected. Hopefully we might be able to get a draw before the second half or at the start of the second half, I don't know. Okay, it's second half, that's starting. I've just said we, that we weren't good enough. And see how we do in the second half. As Makula gives it long. Martinson, thankfully his shot is wide. So far it's all been IFK Burger as we got hit with Tahiri, we managed to hopefully get out the fence. Of course we don't, Hussein can't get the ball. Uh, Rosengard have it with the goalkeeper Johansson. Now Holmert, Elassie, who is injured. All the way back to the goalkeeper Johansson. And now with Dahlstrom. Makula, Christiansen, can we tackle him? Not really. McCullough again. Engstrom. Just playing it quite well. Berger. We've got to be careful. Uh, for some reason we're going to have one defender. And because of that. Pontus Fredrickson has made it 2-0. Really, really disappointing. And I think we have to make a substitution. Uh, I'll pick Sakharovsky. He's not been brilliant. I'll put old Shafi on. See what he can do. Hopefully he can push us up to get a goal. Maybe just the consolation. I don't really mind. Just as long as it's not 2 or 3 now. As it's 60th minute and nothing has happened. It's the 4th minute and nothing has happened since then. I think I will take off to here for the Saxes. Start of the game. Start of our career with us. I think I'll also take a random off for Osgood. See how they can do on their debuts. 80th minute and nothing has happened at all. Berger have kind of just closed the game, but we do get a highlight in the second minute. Sachs and Osgun starting off the attack, but Sachs' ball was quite poor, and now it's Schulstrom can break with Berger. Can we tackle him? No, we can't. We miss the header. Friedhoff, who's got an injury, manages to block the shot, but it's not a matter in there because Marcus Martinson scores. To make it a devastating 3 0 goal. Third goal for Berger, and I'm skipping that. I don't want to watch that at all. Can we make a next sub? I wonder. Yes, we can. Archer Harvey can come on. And Harleton's had a terrible, terrible game. So Rosen can come on for him. I don't think Harleton will be starting the next game. I really don't. As if we can just get a consolation, I'll be happy with this. It's Osgun. Kenny Crossett and gives it Ekundal. 
back to Osgon, crosses it in, the cross is terrible but Cascalera does pick it up on the other half, Carver crosses it in this time, and David Sachs scores in his debut, 3-1, um, yeah, consolation only, I doubt we can come back in with only 4 minutes remaining, but it was a good cross by Harvey, and yeah, Sachs just goes and scores and it's 3-1 to Berger now. And that is full time. We lost 3-1 against RFK Berger. Sachs, probably the best player on the pitch for us. The Hero also had quite a good game. Harvey had a good game for Sydney came on. Hollerton had a really poor game. And I think I know what the sign line it will be for next game. As I did yourselves proud today. I uh, hopefully that's helped people help people motivate it. It has motivated them on paper, but will it motivate them in the next game? Thankfully, we do stick in 11th, and we can really, hopefully, push on now and get more wins. Well, the transfer window does close in a few days, and I don't know if we'll get any more deals, but probably stick around until that's finished and then call the episode there. Right, so it's transfer deadline day, and this just makes me wish and hope that next year's FM. Transfer deadline day, which they added in this year's FM, will be in every single league, no matter if it's lower leagues in the base game or lower leagues in another database for whichever league it, country or whatever it is, whether it's men's or women's, if there is women's game in the uh, game next year. Let's see how we do, though, in the transfer deadline day. We've got one player coming in, possibly, which is that low knee player. If he joins, I don't know. Hopefully he does. So I've got loads of people on my shortlist. How I do it now is I'll just put everyone on my shortlist that's any good. So I'll always get updates for if they go or not. Uh, so none of these I think we want to have. But there we are. Stefan Arnshed will be joining us. Zero pound per week. Comes in on a as a wing back as a regular start on the right wing. Unfortunate because I won't mind playing him at centre back. We'll see how it goes. It's not good enough. It's not good enough, and he'll just be recalled. It's not costing us anything. Transfer window has ended. Um, not many things that happened. Joe Gallard has probably signed 27 players, while Hamadi have lost 38. That is crazy amount. Mamo has spent 2 million. They're the two top transfers. Got some assistance. But yeah, so far this transfer window, we joined not long ago, about two weeks ago, and so far we've signed three players all alone, which is of course David Sachs had that really good start to his career with us, getting three seven point three in his first game of the season and of his career with us. Matthias Osgun, of course, coming in as a left back squad player, and Stefan Arnstrad, who's the director of football signing. Whether he'll be a regular start on the wing back spot on right back area, I don't know. But if he isn't, it doesn't really matter, like I said, because he's, he's on nothing. He's not getting paid or anything. It's not costing us anything at all to bring him here, apart from maybe having bad results. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen with him, though. But that is all the transfers. I think that is the end of this episode. So, if you have enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. It really does help the channel out. Subscribe for more FM22 content coming into FM23 as well. And also, check out my Discord. It's in the link. It's in the description down below. It's a small community so far, just me and my mates. Hopefully you can join, give it some more life, and just be welcome with open arms. You can check everything out as well including my Twitter and Facebook pages and my Twitch page as well. So, yeah, I've been Matthew, also known as Summer Hacks, and I'll see you all next time. Hex signing out. Bye, everybody.